supermarket provides. Which one is the answer for number one? The notice aim at what is the purpose of the notice? Encouraging or discouraging? Encouraging menggalakkan. Discouraging um, to something like not to encourage lah, tidak menggalakkan. A, B or C? Encouraging C. Encouraging shoppers to bring their own recyclable, recyclable bags. Yes, because if you don't bring your own, you have to pay to get the supermarket, uh, the one that the supermarket provides. Okay, good, very good. Number one is C. Everyone takes me for granted. Nobody pays any attention to my needs. Is it too much to ask for an occasional? Occasional means uh, once in a while. Token of appreciation. Okay, how about a hug? Could I have 20 ringgit? See, I don't matter to anyone. Nobody cares about me. So when he says that, um, everyone takes me for granted. When you want to say that someone does not appreciate you or people don't appreciate you, let's say you are helping in something but they take you for granted, they, they don't appreciate your effort in helping them. So you use these phrases take me for granted. Sometimes we, when we give advice to people, we will say, please do not take your family for granted. Please do not take your mom for granted. Okay, you might lose her. Uh, you will lose her one day, something like that. Okay. So from the boy's re reaction, we know that he felt abandoned. Abandoned means uh, ditinggalkan. Okay. Bandon means ditinggalkan. If we say, uh, oh, I saw, a, I saw an abandoned house. That means the house is, uh, maybe you can see that there are many bushes and wheat around the house. So, it is abandoned. No one, no one um, is tending the, the, the garden, for example. So, what's the answer for number two? You can write your answer in the chat room. Okay, or you can turn on your mic. Number two A, number two A, he, feel, he felt abandoned. He did not get any money. He did not understand his mother. So you see here, okay, he is complaining that nobody appreciate him. And he wants a token of appreciation. He wants someone to appreciate. But when, a, when the mother wants to hug him, he doesn't want it. He wants money instead. But when the mother didn't give him the money, he, keep co he keeps complaining again that nobody cares about me. So what is he actually wants? Is it really an appreciation? Did he really want someone to appreciate? Or did he just want money? Okay. All right, the answer for number two here is B. He did not get any money. Okay, so that's why from the voice reaction at the end of it, he still complained that nobody cares about me in, when, when the mother already offered, uh, offered a hug to him. So actually, he wants money. All right. He wants money, okay? Thank you. Good. Want to feel better, have more energy, and perhaps even live longer while look no further than exercise. The health benefits of regular exercise and physical activity are hard to ignore. Ignore means tak peduli. Need more convincing idea, evidence to exercise? Okay. Need more convincing evidence? Okay. Any um, bukti yang lebih meyakinkan? Convincing means you convince in something, you yakin dengan something. Okay. Check out these seven ways of how exercise can improve your health and well-being. So this is like an introduction to an article. So regular exercise and physical activity are great ways to boost your health. And what's the answer for number three? Feel better, feel anxious, feel emotional. Anxious means you are worried. Okay, Umaira says A. All right, yes, the answer is A, feel better. A recent survey by the Ministry of Health revealed that Malaysian youngsters are not drinking enough water and this is not good for their health. 
The survey revealed that less than 35% of Forms 1, 2 and 4 students from 50 schools around the country drink the recommended 6 to 8 glasses of water a day. Most of the students only drink 1 to 2 glasses of water a day, which is detrimental to their health. Detrimental means it brings negative or bad impacts, bad effects to their health. Detrimental means the merosakan sesuatu means it's very, very bad. So what is the conclusion from the report? Students are not consuming enough water daily. Students are suffering terseksa from water shortage. Suddenly water shortage. Air tak ada. Okay. So A, B or C for number four. Number four. A, B or C. What's your answer? Write down your answer. Number four, yes. A, not consuming enough water daily. Okay, next one. Dear editor, I have dry freeze. I have dry frizzy hair. What is frizzy hair? Dry and frizzy hair. Rambut ni macam mana? Kering. And then if you realize some people who have dry hair, uh, rambut dia frizzy means macam kerah-kerah sikit. Okay, nampak macam uh, kembang sikit rambut dia. Okay. It is also thinning. Thinning means hair fall. Rambut dia gugur. I've tried several types of shampoos and hair conditioners but nothing seems to work. Please help. Dia seeking glowing hair. A person lo loses on the average about 50 to 100 strands of hair daily. However, permanent or temporary. Permanent means kekal or temporary sementara. Temporary hair loss can be caused by stress, genetics, hormonal, hormonal changes, poor diet or medication. If you are experiencing abnormal hair loss, I would suggest that you seek consultation and treatment from an expert. Good luck. So what is the purpose of the letter? To seek a solution? Request a prescription. Prescription is when you request for medicine from a doctor. Okay, doctor, I would like to prescribe uh, medicine for this and that. Or offer some suggestions. What is the answer for number five? Number five. So this person is writing the letter for what? A, B or C? Seek means mencari. A. Sayang. Okay, very good. A, seek a solution. He didn't request a prescription because he doesn't know what kind of med medicine is good for him or her. So he didn't request. Dia tak minta. He just asked for a solution. What should I do? Okay. Okay, and do you have number six here? Yes or no? Do you have this page or not? Yes, right? Yes. Okay. Book your flight tickets online and enjoy great discounts. Here is your chance to save as much as 50% when you book through the internet. Okay. In order to get your air tickets at half price, what you should do? A, B or C? C. Very good. C. Buy tickets via the internet to get half price. Uh, half price, okay? Uh, okay, next one. NASA scientists are deep in the process of designing Europa Clipper. It will be launched, dilancarkan as soon as 2023, then track out to the Jupiter system for about 40 close passes over the mysterious icy moon. Once it arrives, the Europa Clipper will gather vital information about the moon's geology. Okay, this is a machine that they send to the outer space to get sample from the outer space. For example, here they want to get the moon's geology, composition and hidden interior ocean. That means they are going uh, um, on the surface of the moon to find any, in, any ocean there. And where they want to... To, to try to find icy moon that could harbor conditions suitable for life. So maybe one day we can live on the moon. 
Okay, Jupiter's icy moon of Europa is one of the most tantalizing worlds of exploration. I mean, one of the most uh, impressing, impressive, okay, worlds for exploration. All right, what is the answer for number seven? What is it? A rocket, a satellite, or a spacecraft? This thing gather vital information. Vital means important. Okay. So they are looking for geology. Geology means uh, related to geography, bentuk muka bumi. Okay. Composition, what kind of place. They are looking for ocean, any hidden ocean there. They are looking whether they have uh, ice there. What do you think is this thing? A rocket, a satellite or spacecraft? Is it a rocket? Is it a satellite? A spacecraft. Number seven. Sp spacecraft. Yes, C. Yeah? It's a spacecraft. Spacecraft is not a rocket. Spacecraft is where they can land on the moon, on the place. Okay. All right, number eight. Colton is trying to assure why it had that Friday the 30th. But the number 13 and Friday, okay, it's all good, Wyatt. That's just an old wife's tale. Old wife's tale means the, kalau kita orang Melayu kata cerita karut mengarut dulu-dulu. Um, but the number 13 and Friday both have a long history of bringing bad luck. Okay, is, okay. some people, they believe if the day is Friday and it's 13, 30th, not 30th, 13th, Okay, 13 hari bulan and it's false, uh, if it falls on Friday, it means a very bad luck day, bad day. Because it's a combination of the two that makes the day the most feared. Are you, are you still want to go? Yes, why not? Good luck then. Alright, you know this. Is it just a superstition? Do you still remember superstition? We learn superstition, pantan larang. Is something to be afraid of? It's still taught to bring good luck. So A, B or C? Last one. What's your answer? A, B or C? All right, very good. Is this just a super? Superstition means uh, pantang larang because they do superstitions to make you fear something untuk takut, kan? Kamu tentang sesuatu. All right. Okay, very good. So next one. We are going to do this and after that you find the answers, eh? On your own. This is an article about ginger and garlic. Okay, six sentences have been removed from the article. Choose from the sentences A to H to fit each gap. One to six. Six. There are two extra sentences which you do not need to use for each question. Mark the correct answer A to H. So you need to fill in one, two, three, four, five and six here with some of the sentences here. You need to choose the most suitable one. Um, give me a, uh, can I have someone to read this? Please? Anyone? Damia, Damia, can you read the first paragraph, please? Thank you, Damia. We are in the midst of countrywide lockdown and it is perhaps the first time in many years that the whole world had prioritized health over anything else. As you would know, the novel coronavirus has afflicted millions of people around the world and, and this precarious situation has led many countries to announce a lockdown. Immunity is defined as the balanced state where the body is able to fight disease-causing agents.
All right, I'm sorry for the dis, uh, disruptions. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you, Damia. Can you please? Uh, it's okay. You don't have to continue. Actually, I would like to ask you to continue. Okay. So, um, this is related to the pandemic as well, coronavirus. Okay. Uh, this precarious situation, it means a very, very bad situation has led many countries announce a lockdown. So when we don't have, when, when we don't have the vaccine yet, uh, some people, they go, they go to a traditional remedy. So immunity is defined as a balanced state where the body is able to fight disease causing agents. Okay, agent dalam badan kita, antibody that can fight uh, disease, penyakit. Alright, take ginger and garlic for instance. For instance means for example. Eh? So in your essay, instead of writing for instance, you can also, uh, instead of writing for example, you can also write for instance. Okay. They are so much more than mere flavoring agents. That means um, they don't just, mere means they bukanlah semata-mata. Okay, bahan perasa. For your curries and stew, Ginger's medicinal properties are very popular in Ayurveda. It is considered as a traditional remedy. Remedy means uh, perubatan eh. For indigestion, indigestion means if your tummy doesn't feel good when you eat, nausea and bloating. If you feel nauseous, pening-pening, lawyer and bloating means masuk angin. Okay, there are both very potent herbs. Very potent means they are very strong. Potent means strong eh. Together, they can weave magic, especially when it comes to immunity and weight management. So, um, weight management, if you want to lose weight, brewing ginger and garlic tea means you boil ginger and tea. It's perhaps one of the best ideas to enjoy their goodness together. According to the book Healing Foods, ginger's volatile oils have anti-inflammatory properties. Okay, anti-radang. Anti-keradangan. Similar to those of nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like Panadol, um, what, ibuprofen. Okay, all the pills that you take when, when you have things like flu, headaches and menstrual pains. So instead of taking Panadol, you can try uh, the two ginger and garlic. Okay, because they have the same function. It can also lower medication intake in osteoarthritis. Okay. Um, Osteoarthritis means uh, sakit kat lutut, kat joint. Okay, garlic has high sulfur content that helps fight infect infections. Infections means jangkitan. Okay, melawan jangkitan. It is famous for its antiviral and antiparasitic properties that help ease symptoms of cold and cough. Okay, antiviral, antiparasitic properties. Uh, parasit uh, kuman, something like that eh. Antiviral is when you have, viral is when you have flu or cold. That is symptoms. Is means mengurangkan symptoms of cold and cough. Okay, Damia, can you continue? The next paragraph here, ginger garlic tea. Ginger garlic tea is also a great idea to aid in weight loss. Ginger is very effective in keeping your digestive system in a good shape. Ginger helps heal the gut, fasten movement of food through the gastrointestinal tract, and reduce bloating and cramps. It is useful in getting the digestive juices flowing. As for garlic, it is useful in flushing out toxins. Garlic could help lift up your metabolism naturally. It is also known to be an appetite suppressant. All right. Thank you, Damia. Um, weight lo loss, if you want to lose your weight, it's very effective in keeping your digestive system. Okay, system pencernaan. Okay, you learn this in science. Okay. Uh, ginger helps heal the gut. Gut is your intestine. Uh, usus. Fastens movement of food through the, okay, pergerakan makanan tu akan lebih, okay, laju, cekap in the gastrointestinal tract. 
Okay, bahagian yang selalu orang dapat gastric tu kan. Alright, and reduces bloating. Kurangkan rasa sebu like angin and cramps. It is useful in getting the digestive juices flowing. Okay, so garlic useful in flushing out toxins. Garlic could help rev up your metabolism. Rev up means to boost. The same word boost, B-O-O-S-T. To increase or to improve your metabolism naturally. So it is also known to be an appetite suppressant. Suppressant means dia tahan kamu punya uh, selera makan. Appetite means selera makan eh. Suppressant dia tahan. So it's very good for diet. Okay, drinking the ginger garlic tea helps you take good advantages of gingers and garlic's antibiotic and, and, and sorry, antibiotic and anti-inflammatory characteristics. By the way, ginger garlic tea tastes delicious, particularly with honey and lemon. All right, so if you think the, uh, the taste is horrible, you can try to add some honey and lemon to your tea. Okay. All right, do you have any questions about the text? Okay, I have sent the text to your groups, to your WhatsApp group and your Telegram. Okay, please do the exercise. Find the answers from here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, O, H here. If you cannot print this out, it's okay. You can just write down the answers for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Okay. 